Hey everybody, uh, I thought I'd make a couple of brief videos showing off my manga collection. Um, since everybody loved, uh, or so many of you loved uh, Shigeru Mizuki's Kitaro, thought I'd get out my copy. Um, I picked this up very recently, um, so I think uh, these are coming out currently uh, from um, the, a, a well-distributed uh, publisher, Drawn and Quarterly. So these should be very easy to find. Um, this is the first uh, of the stories, and uh, I read them, and uh, yeah, and they, they are quite uh, readable and entertaining. And uh, the art is, is really, really quite, uh, quite beautiful. So, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, if you enjoyed seeing samples in the module, uh, if you get the chance, uh, seek it out. Um, there it is. Uh, at the same show, I picked up uh, this. Though I think it's been out a little longer. Uh, I don't know much about it, except that it came out from Dark Horse. It is a manga, H.P. Lovecraft. I'm a huge H.P. Lovecraft fan, so when I saw this, I couldn't help but grab it. It really has uh, some impressive work in it. And if you recall from my Argentina post, I, I tend to buy Lovecraft adaptations when I see them. So, uh, I have a uh, quite a uh, somewhat sizable, I think, uh, collection of Junji Ito books. I have these two volumes, uh, Museum of Terror. I'm missing the first one. I have... These two volumes of Gaio, or Gio, I don't really know the preferred pronunciation. Uh, one of you will probably tell me. Um, but, uh, but these are, are extremely cool. Um, and of course, I have Uzumaki. Uh, and these were the editions uh, that for me was my uh, introduction to Ito. Uh, I think they... Uh, they really jumped off the shelf at me with these beautiful covers, uh, and uh, I was just enormously impressed by this work. Uh, so most of you are probably familiar with that. Um, I also have uh, these works by Tatsumi. Tats Tats Tatsumi Yosh Yoshiro Tatsumi. Um, I can't seem to, okay, yes, I see, uh, and, uh, yeah, these are, these are quite, uh, quite beautiful volumes of, uh, of, of sort of hauntingly strange, uh, tales of, uh, urban Japan, I suppose, uh, urban and rural Japan, um, so, uh, they're, they're sometimes sad, sometimes eerie, creepy, uh, other times just, uh, just little slices of life. Um, but, uh, but these are quite good. Um, this recent Junji Ito, but not the most recent. I think he has a couple more since then. Um, I also acquired, uh, very recently a copy of, of, uh, Ura, <laughs> Urotsuki Doji. A legend, better known as Legend of the Overfiend. Um, this, uh, I, I was familiar with, uh, with the manga, or I'm sorry, with the anime. Uh, it was one of my first uh, exposures to anime uh, a long, long time, uh, decades ago, and I've been uh, uh, quite, uh, I was quite impressed with, with some of the wild imagery in there, and I'd hoped for more of the same in this. Unfortunately, I, I found this to be a bit uh, the art is impressive, uh, but the story was fairly typical uh, adult uh, manga with just a bit of uh, uh, the dark suit well, the, the dark supernatural element. However, it's it's simply very few surprises and very sort of a little disappointing to me. Uh, I wasn't really happy with that all that much, but there it is. Um, Right, uh, and that's, uh, I have more manga, that's what I had handy, um, since I have a couple more minutes, I think, before the video becomes too large to upload. Uh, 
This is uh, one of the Pen Penguin Picture Classics, uh, Classics Illustrated. This one illustrated by uh, Nestor Redondo. Um, I, another uh, acquisition from the last few years showing the outstanding uh, brushwork of that Filipino comicer. Uh, and these two anthologies from Argentina, uh, you know, they maybe deserve their own video. I'll do a follow-up. See you in just a second. <laughs>